Hello there, YouTube. Um, I'm a little bit drunk right now, and I really didn't intend to be, and I thought it would be amusing to do a video about why I got this drunk, and I probably thought that would be amusing because I'm drunk, so just kind of bear with me. Um, so, I got home and was thinking about dinner, and looked around and decided I wanted a peanut butter and jelly. And I noticed that I have Kahlua, as you may have seen in the last video. Um, and Kahlua, of course, mixes very well with milk. And, um, <coughs> you know, that's a fairly innocent drink because Kahlua isn't that alcoholic. And once you mix it with milk, it's practically harmless. You won't even really notice it. Um, and, of course, milk is required for peanut butter and jelly. Uh, so, I was thinking about that. And I was thinking about how I've heard different definitions of what is a white Russian and a black Russian. So, I was kind of curious and decided to look up which is which because I know both of them involve Kahlua and vodka. And I also have lots and lots of vodka on hand. So, I went on Wikipedia and looked them up. And it turns out that a white Russian is about um, three parts Kahlua, two parts either milk or cream. I prefer milk, of course, and I actually have milk. I don't have cream, so I use milk. And then five parts vodka. So this is a drink that is half vodka, and the other half is a combination of Kahlua, which is also alcoholic, though not as much, and milk. And there's more Kahlua than milk. So, fairly alcoholic drink. Um, anyway, so then I looked up a black Russian, and it turns out it's even more alcoholic. Um, it didn't give exact proportions for an official thing, but I think it said that the general proportion is something like two parts vodka, one part Kahlua. And there's no milk at all. That's why it is a black Russian, because it takes out the white part of it. So, I... <laughs> clearly that one is a much more alcoholic drink, because it's more than half vodka. Um, if I'm remembering the portions, the proportions correctly. Um, and it is... Um, yeah, so it's more than half vodka and the rest is also alcoholic, whereas the white Russian is only half vodka, and um, the rest is um, only partly Kahlua. So anyway, um, <coughs> I decided on white Russian because I didn't really want to get that drunk, and I decided um, that I wanted a decent amount of it. Um, I underestimated this drink. <laughs> Um, and basically started pouring the vodka, and mind you, I was using the rest of the 50 proof vodka that I have. Normal vodka, I think, is 40 proof, so this is a bit stronger. Or no, not, not 40 and 50, I'm thinking of percentage. This is 100 proof, whereas normal vodka is 80 proof. Um, which if you don't know the proofing system, then you shouldn't be watching this video. But, <laughs> if you don't know it, and are watching the video anyway, then I'll tell you anyway. And the proof is just double the percent of alcohol. So, normal vodka is 40% alcohol, whereas this stuff is 50% alcohol. So, a, s a you know, decent amount of extra alcohol per volume. Um, oh, I'm getting a phone call. Um, I'll probably answer it in a minute. Oh, it's Jen. Um, so anyway, um, <laughs> I mixed this up and ended up mixing probably about two drinks worth. Um, you know, and a drink in this case is more than like a drink of something else. It's like, you know, a drink we're talking like this much. So I mixed like this much, you know, um, just about, not, not this full glass, but, 
up to about there. And I think I've only had about half of it. I might have had a little more than half. But whatever the case, I am very noticeably drunk. You may or may not have noticed it in the video. I think it's pretty noticeable <laughs> from the way I feel. Um, so it seems likely that it's noticeable. And, um, yeah. So I clearly underestimated this drink that I mixed and Jen left a voicemail. I will call her back as soon as I'm done this video. Um, I'm even more easily distracted while I'm drunk. So, um, I'm not really sure where I have that much more to say other than I mix a lot of this and I drank some of it and I got more drunk than I intended and there's still more to drink and I'm probably gonna finish it so um yeah I am suddenly unexpectedly drunk and um not really complaining because it's not a bad night for it but yeah um so that's pretty much the point of the video and I've been rambling for six and a half minutes now. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video and call Jen back. But I hope you enjoyed my story. And let this be a lesson to you. Beware, the white Russian, especially with 50 proof vodka, is not a drink to be taunted or toyed with when you just want something casual to drink with your peanut butter and jelly. Okay.